no, no, no. It's all, honestly, we, we will be doing a stream at some point on where the troubles an entire staged event. It's quite possible, including some of the bombings that took place uh, in the UK. So because we really now have learned so much from our history that most of these major events in history were set up by this cabal who are setting up this pandemic. But we won't go on about that now. Hey guys, me again. So what you should have seen there was uh, Gemma and John Waters telling us they were going to have a video or whatever out on um, telling us the troubles in the north were all fought, were false flags, um, as well as uh, the Oma bombing, which. They did discuss, well, Jeremy did discuss in the video that they said they were going to bring out in saying that was a false flag. Now, over 3,500 people have been killed in the conflict since it began, I think, in officially in 1968 or 69. I believe the first person killed was a 67-year-old man that was beaten by the RUC. And he died the next day in hospital. Uh, I think he said he was 67, didn't I? Yeah. But anyway, uh, just a couple of stats. 52% of the people killed in the Troubles uh, have been civilians. 32% were members of the British security forces. And 16% were members of paramilitary groups on both sides. Um, the other thing I want to get to is the OMA bombing. Uh, that occurred in the 15, on the 15th of August 1998 in Tyrone. A group called the Real IRA, who were split from uh, the Provisional IRA, who themselves were in turn split from the original IRA. Um, so there's there's a kind of a, an ongoing trend there. Um, so yeah, they were responsible. Twenty nine people were killed, including a pregnant woman with twins. And some 220 people uh, were injured in the blast. Um, so those 29 families that were killed, uh, they, they eventually uh, brought the whole thing to court, I think, in 2001 uh, and got a settlement. But I, I don't think anything will, you know, bring back family members. And... You know, the um, the British, Irish and American uh, intelligence agencies knew and had information that this was this bombing was going to go ahead and they could have prevented the bombing. Uh, but And most of the information itself was got from double agents in the, the real IRA itself. Uh, in 2001, the ombudsman, the police ombudsman, criticised the RUC, so special branch, uh, in how they failed to act on the information and uh, prior warnings and it criticised the complete investigation of the bombing so to say um, this woman has completely lost her fucking mind is an understatement now i know i'm going to get the usual detractors but um that's that's all well and good but we're talking about nearly 3600 people being killed since 1968 if you actually if you go back prior to 1968 maybe 1941 or so um then that doubles nearly doubles again it's it's a lot um and whatever look at the amount of people injured uh with rubber bullets and cs gas which actually believe it or not rubber bullets were first used in the northern irish troubles as well as the cs gas which you hear a lot about today um as regards the american army that was first used on, on Catholics in Northern Ireland. So, you know, again, she just might want to watch her mouth as regards that. Uh, all I
although it must be great being holed up with um, John Waters again you know having someone to bounce off and basically just wind her up and push her on as the regards because he doesn't say much in any of these videos as much as it's his channel that it, this was run off he he just winds her up and lets her go and to be honest she's stepping into um she's stepping into an area now which which it it's it's not somewhere she'd want to be you know you're messing with you're not messing with the guardy you're not messing with um a couple of uh anti-protest marches going up against your own one you're you're messing with serious guns and bullets here so you know but hey look that's her choice but all all i have to say on this is if you're if you're thinking this is a false flag like a false flag that's been going on since maybe the 40s but officially since the, the, the mid to late sixties, you're you're pushing buttons there that you really don't want to be pushing. And you know, maybe you know you might be a daft old bitch, but you know, there's there's being daft and there's being completely fucking stupid. You know, and then there's John Waters. You just, you're going to be alone to yourselves. You're going to be the undoing of yourselves. And I don't just mean the undoing of yourselves. You're pushing the boat out to a point where no one will care whether you're, li you're, you're living or dead. In fact, more people would, would probably be, more people would, would probably be happier you'd be dead at this point. And that that's really all you can say and I can guarantee you the families of 3,500 plus victims that would have you say that it's just a false flag well you know but I had the best luck you Gemma uh, you know I'll, I'll keep pushing your stupidity angle which it definitely is and you know whatever John Waters has to say and whatever you're going to be marching about next, be it pedos on the streets or uh, marching out over lockdowns or whatever it is, you know, you just keep your head held high, you know, when you start talking about bomb victims, victims of police brutality, People that have been shot, killed, blown up just because they went out to a pub. Just, re just remember, uh, you're you're basically just dissing nearly over three thousand five hundred dead people. But I'd be like you to talk about people that can't talk back anyway. So this is me over and out. Just leave your comments, whatever. And I'll talk you down there.